Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll learn how to create hair with Blender 3.5 new hair system. As you know, the curves-based hair system was first introduced in Blender 3.3. I made a tutorial about this topic. I strongly recommend you watch this lesson before going on. In the 3.5 release, Blender included 26 hair assets for the first time to make hair easier. We can make any kind of hair, fur, or grass easily using these built-in geometry node assets. You don't need to know deeply how to use geometry nodes. In this tutorial, we'll create a curly hairstyle using these nodes. Let's get started. First of all, we need a surface to add hair curves. This head model will be our surface for hair curves. I will share the download link in the video description. Select the head, go to the Add menu, Curve, and add an empty hair. We can see this empty curve object under the head object in the Outliner Editor. Click on the Modifier Properties tab. We can also see that the Surface Deform Geometry Node modifier has been added. With the curve object selected, switch to Sculpt Mode. In the left panel, we can see different hairbrush tools. Since we explained these tools in another tutorial, we will not go into details here. You can watch this tutorial before going on. In order to add hair curves, be sure that the model has a UV map. Otherwise, we cannot add any hair curves to the model. Also, UV islands shouldn't overlap each other. Otherwise, we will get an error message. All right. With the density brush selected, let's make the brush settings. Set the distance minimum value to 0.2. The brush adds hair curves based on the minimum distance. This is the minimum distance between the hair roots. Go to the curve shape menu and set the hair length to 12 meters. Set the number of control points to 15 in order to have smoother hair curves. All right. Press numpad 3 to switch to right view. Enable the X symmetry option. So we can work symmetrically on the X axis. You can change the brush size by pressing F key. Start applying the brush to the head linearly. Choose the comb brush and switch to brush falloff type to projected. Start grooming the hair. Enable the collision option at the top right, so it will prevent the hair go through the model while grooming. Choose the density brush again and add new hair curves. Choose the selection paint tool and switch to the curve selection mode. Switch to brush falloff type to projected. Select the hair curves we have just created. So if we switch to the comb brush, it will only affect these hair curves. We can grow the hair curves using Grow Brush. Press Alt-A to deselect the hair curves. All right, let's add the rest of the hair curves. Select the density brush again. Go to the curve shape menu and enable the length and shape options. So when we apply the brush, it will add new hair curves based on the minimum distance and interpolate them according to the shape and length of the existing curves. That's super and so easy to use. Let's groom the new hair curves. Grow and shrink the hair curves so that aligned with the other curves. Hold down the control key to shrink the hair.
deselect all curves, and just select the front hair curves. Comb the selected hair curves. Switch to the density brush and add new hair curves on the empty areas. Select the front hair curves. Separate them using the comb brush. All right. It's time to create curly hair using Blender 3.5 Hair Assets. Switch to Object Mode. Click on the Render Properties tab and switch to EV Render Engine. Scroll down to the Curves panel. Open up the panel and switch the hair shape to Strip. It makes the hair roots thicker and the tip of the hair slimmer along the curves. To make smoother hair curves, set the additional subdivision value to 3. Go to the Modifier tab. Switch the Timeline Editor to the Asset Browser. We can see lots of Geometry Nodes trees to create hair in Blender 3.5. For the first time ever, Blender added built-in assets in the 3.5 release. The Asset Library comes with 26 hair assets split into categories. Deformation, Generation, Guides, Utility, Read and Write. It's very easy to use. Just drag and drop from the Asset Browser onto your hair curves. First, go to the right category. Drag and drop the Set Hair Curve Profile node onto the hair curves. As you can see, the new Geometry Node modifier will be added to the modifier stack. This allows us to set the radius of the hair curves according to a profile shape. If we increase the radius value, the hair curves become thicker. Shape value controls the shape of the curves. We can make the hair roots slimmer and the hair tips thicker. I will just leave these in default values. If you want to see the geometry nodes for this modifier, with the Set Curve Profile modifier selected, switch the Asset Browser to the Geometry Node Editor. If you want to expand any Geometry Node group green colored, select the group and press the Tab key. Press Tab key again to back. Let's add other geometry nodes to create curly hair. Switch to the Asset Browser again. Switch to the Deformation category. This category allows us to deform the hair curves. Let's drag and drop the Hair Noise node onto the hair. If we increase the distance value, the hair curves become more chaotic look. It gives us more natural hair. Let's set the distance value to 0.5. Enable the Preserve Length option. Alright, let's make the curly hair. Switch to the Guides category. This category allows us to generate different hairstyles. Let's drag and drop the Curl Hair node onto the hair. This modifier deforms existing hair curves into curls using guide curves. Set the radius value to 0.6. This is the radius of each hair curl. Set the frequency value to 0.08. This is the frequency factor of the curls. If we increase this value, we get more frequent hair curls. Set the guide distance value to 1. The guide distance is the minimum distance between two guides for the new guide map. The subdivision value makes the hair curls smoother. Set the subdivision level to 3. Set the curl start value to 1.2. The curl start value controls the distance from the hair roots where the curve begins to curl. If we increase this value, the hair starts curling at the tips. Let's add extra hair curves now. Switch to the Generation category. This category allows us to generate new hair curves around the guide curves. Let's drag and drop the Interpolate Hair Curves node onto the hair. It interpolates existing guide curves on a surface, so we can increase the number of existing hair curves. Note that this modifier won't work without the surface geometry and surface UV map inputs. Let's choose the head as the surface to generate new hair curves. Go to the Curve Properties tab. 
press Ctrl C to copy the surface UV map name. Go back to the modifier tab and press Ctrl V to paste the UV name inside the surface UV map. Set the distance to guide value to 0.1. Set the density of generated hair curves to 150. We can also change the viewport amount of the generated curves. It's time to add hair material and get rendered. First, let's get render with Cycles Render Engine. Press Z key to switch to render preview mode. Go to the Render Properties tab and switch to Cycles. We will use Environment Texture for lighting. Go to the World Properties tab. Click on the Color node and choose Environment Texture. Click on the Open button and choose any HDRI image. For transparent background, go back to the Render Properties tab. Scroll down to the Film panel, open up the panel, and enable the Transparent option. It's time to add hair material. Switch the Asset Browser to the Shader Editor. Select the hair, click on the New button, and add a material for the hair. Select the principled shader and delete it. Press Shift-A and add a principled hair shader. Plug the node into the Material Output node. There we go. We can change the hair color. We can also switch to Melanin Concentration as hair material. We can change the settings to get the result we want. Let's switch to the EV Render Engine. As you can see, the principled hair shader doesn't work with EV we can use the principled shader instead of it. We can change the hair color. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.